Okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Boys Hockey on WACA-TV, your exclusive home for Ashland High School sports. Tonight's Tri-Valley League matchup features the 1-9-1 Medway, what? <laughs> Medway Mustangs. There you go. <laughs> Say that five times real fast. Against the 4-4 four four Ashland Clockers. I'm Josh Abrams, and joining me above center ice is Chase Abrams. Chase, you last saw this team back on December 21st in a 4-2 loss against Hopkinton. Based on what you saw then, what can we expect tonight? Well, first off, very, very strong first line from this Ashton Clockers team. But what I think is very underrated about this team is that of this, is the strength of the second line. A few big names on that second line include PJ and Kellen Kassane, as well as Liam, as well as Liam Fitzsimons. Fitzsimons had one of their three goals against Abington. Uh, the other two coming from first teamer or first liner and Mark uh, and Captain Mark Milko. There we go. Okay, well, it looks like Jake Caveney taking the uh, face off here for the Clockers. We're underway. Laura Loring Arena, Framingham. You've got Medway and Ashland in a Tri Valley matchup. Clockers won the tip initially, but Jack Reardon gives it away. They've got it on their own side. This is Danny Kelly behind his own net. Bouncing off the wall, Clockers have do not have numbers. Jake Caveney, two on two, shot on goal, deflected away. Tied up behind the net, and the Mustangs come away with it. Pushing it back up, back up the net. Clockers reset, shot on goal, deflected away. Still stuck in Medway zone. That shot was by Jack Reardon, defenseman. Past the neutral zone. Danny Kelly's shot on goal, saved by the Mustang goalie. That's Trevor Walmsley with the save, and uh, right at eye level, an easy save there for Trevor. So far, uh, early on, Clockers with some good offensive pressure in the Medway zone. Yep, three shots gotten off already. One by Kassane, one by Kelly, and one by Reardon. Second line comes on. This will be Kellen Kassane. Ashland keeping control of it in the Medway zone. Medway trying to force the turnover. Tied up in the corner. Medway pushing across into the neutral zone now. Pressure there from Liam Fitzsimons by the Clockers. Medway still does not have numbers. In the corner, Grant Reap takes it away. Medway keeps it in the Ashland zone. In the corner and they knock it away. One-on-one -on -one opportunity here for Fitzsimons. Blows past his defender, but he's stuck in the corner, pushed up against the boards. Far side, they keep it over the blue line. Pass towards the middle, intercepted and knocked away by the Mustangs. Clocker is still with an opportunity here. They managed to keep it in front of the blue line. That's a good play by Jackson Riva. Diving attempt there by James Palanzi to keep it alive in the zone, and he does. Clocker stay on offense and now finally tied up by Walmsley. 12.58 to go in the first period. Still no score, but it's been all clockers in terms of shots on goal. And really in terms of possession and possession in the other team's end, it's a very strong start for this clocker team. And this is that second line that I talked about at the, at the beginning. This is a very strong second line. Okay, first line back on now for the clockers. That was Caveney on the faceoff. Clockers of control on the far wing. Centering pass is blocked aside. Medway tries to clear, but Tried to keep it in Jackson Reva, but it hops over his stick. Push goes back, back and forth. Go ahead, Chase. <laughs> Push back over the blue line. Jake Caveney going after it. Mustangs have possession for now, trying to get it back into the neutral zone, and it's taken away by the Clockers. Shot on goal is no good by, that was Mark Milko. Great opportunity for Milko there. Just went wide. Pass into the middle. Nearly put in by Jake Caveney, but knocked away by the Mustangs again. Another clearing attempt fails. Clockers keep it in. That's Mark Milko who gets dumped <laughs> by the boards. Puck loose in front. Anthony shot. Rodriguez had a shot on goal there. Unable to convert. Clockers look like they're on a power play here, but it's even straight. The shot sails wide. Benway again tries to clear. This time kept in, at least for a moment, still kept in. Jackson Reva, great effort there. Getting down to his knees to keep that puck in front of the blue line. Pass into the middle, too hot to handle for Milko. Rodriguez had a shot attempt for a second, knocked away. Riva keeps it in there in the Mustang zone. 
Medway finally a successful clearing attempt. Cloggers are in the middle of a line change there. Medway got a, got a break. We're able to clear it the length of the ice. No icing here, 11.30 to go in the first period. Still no score. Jack Reardon flips it up the ice into the neutral zone, intercepted by a Medway defender. Knocked into the Medway zone now. Fitzsimons chases after it. Taking over, Kellen Kassain into the corner. Tried to feed it to the middle and it's knocked away. That was Dean Reap. Now back into the zone, Aslan's gonna recover. Reardon knocks it back into the Mustang zone. Over the blue line and they're just trying to force it into the Mustang zone, Look, capitalize on an opportunity here. For the most part, this has been a two line game, blue line and, and <laughs> center red line. <laughs> Dean Reap fighting for it behind the net. Clocker's doing their best to keep possession. Kellen Kassane. Can't handle it, Medway takes it away. Looking to get it into the neutral zone. And they do. And Reardon just knocks it right back into the Medway zone, taken by the keeper. He's gonna put a glove on it and stop play. You know, Wamsley's not gonna mess around right now the way the clockers just keep sniping and sniping and sniping. So we're gonna force the stoppage, both teams. Full line changes here, so 10.24 to go. Again, no score so far, but shots on net completely favor the Ashland Clockers. And like, like we said before, I think a lot of stats are favoring the Ashland Clockers. It's a good start for this Clocker team for sure. Opportunity for a second there for Anthony Rodriguez. Medway escapes. Kept behind the net. Shot on goal. That one, that one went in, that's that Mark Milko. Good. Centering pass behind the net. Well, right out and right in the slot, Milko buries it. I don't know, I, I guess I'm just expecting the buzzer noise that you hear at NHL <laughs> games. It took me a second there. But what felt like an inevitable goal finally comes to fruition. Mark Milko scores with 10 minutes and five seconds to go here in the first period. Okay, and that first line will stay on the ice as Caveney gets ready to take the face off. Frank, flanked by A-Rod and Milko. We mentioned before that this Mustang team maybe not as strong as some of the teams the Clockers have faced so far. Only one nine and one on the year, but looking to change their fortune. Still have to play the schedule, and you got to take one nine and one just as seriously as an undefeated team chase. They got to, you know, keep their feet on, keep their foot on the pedal. Don't let up against what they think might, what they may think is an inferior opponent. Here's a centering attempt, shot pass by Milko. No goal. Another shot by Milko, blocked aside Who's from the slot. It's just a shooting gallery right now for the Clockers. This looks like target practice from the Clockers. Rodriguez a shot on goal, that's that, no good. That one got deflected wide and this one hops over the stick and out of the zone so the Clockers will have to reset. Jake Brown with the play there, tied up along the near side. Capney comes away with it, gains the blue line, tries to center across, no good, blocked aside by the Mustangs and here they go, two on two at center ice. Shot on goal, sails high and wide. Yep. Catches the glass. Alex Dinsdale was rushing back to make that uh, better advantage for the Clockers. Medway fired a shot, unable to finish. Good forechecking against Jackson Reeve is able to feed it ahead to A-Rod. Now center ice misfire as the puck drifts into the Medway zone. That pass was targeted for Alex Dinsdale. Jackson Reeve pushes it up the boards. Far side now. One may have crossed the blue line. It's a yep. delay offsides call. Play continues. The clock is able to clear the zone and reset. Midway ahead, Drew McCarthy tries to make a play, ridden off, but kept in at the far point for a moment. It trickles out to center ice. Got a delay offsides call, but Medway has cleared the zone. James Palenzi, plenty of time, passes it up. Alex Dinsdale looking to center ice, can't find Ryan Abkunis. the third line here from the Clockers. They make a change, and that'll be a whistle. Not sure what the whistle is, we'll take a look. Might be too many men on the ice. Yeah, we saw that third line in for the Clockers for a long time. So 8.01 to go here in the first period. Clockers up one nothing over Medway. It'll be a, an offensive zone faceoff for the Mustangs as the Clockers do in fact get a two minute minor called on number 29, Ryan Abkunis. 
We'll see if we get a PA announcer tonight, but for now we're going to say too many men on the ice as the uh, play was stopped right at the Ashland bench. A lot of players going in and out there. Yep, so the Mustangs now with the numbers advantage. Some something that they're going to have to try to capitalize on. And as I say that, they buries one on the back of the net. That was number seven, Jackson Bridges, senior forward for the Mustangs. And just like that, this game is tied. Took the Mustangs all of seven seconds on the power play to score that one. Not what the clockers had in mind. And again, Chase, we uh, were a little concerned about this, right? You don't want to give the Mustangs even a hint of momentum here. It's a tie game, and the clockers are going to need to reset, recover, and uh, get back on the gas. And how about a case of the score not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> Still pretty early on, just under eight minutes to go. That's that's the second shot I've counted from the Mustangs so far. The Clockers have at least maybe 20. Well, if, you're, <laughs> if you're counting that one that sailed high over the net, that doesn't count as a shot on goal. Okay. So what, <laughs> then the first? Could have been their first shot on goal. My goodness. Nothing to be worried about, though. Still very early on in this first period. A at turnover. least very early on in the game. Clockers scrambling just a little bit here. They're going to need to settle it down. Record-wise, they are the far better team, even at 500, but they have won. Their four wins have all come in their past five games. They've been on a hot streak, looking to continue that now. Into the neutral zone, Medway knocks it right back out. Danny Kelly behind the net. He goes off the glass, he finds Anthony Rodriguez. Clockers don't have numbers, but a great pass to Caveney. He's got an open shot, takes it, and, it, and he scores. So Caveney splits the defense, takes it in, Deeks the goalie, and just like that, it's a 2-1 game for the Clockers. That was a pretty quick response. Took uh, <laughs> this was a tie game for less than a minute. I think it was about, I think it was 64 seconds. Exactly seven minutes to go <laughs> in the first period, and it's 2-1. So we saw a flurry of shots, but no goals, and now suddenly two goals on the last two shots of the game. The Clockers did not have numbers there, but Anthony Rodriguez found Cavney in between two Mustang defenders. No one came anywhere near him. It was practically, a, it was a breakaway, and he scored. Yeah, I was expecting the uh, the goalie, Wellesley, to come out to challenge and take out the angle. Yeah, it looked like Cavney bobbled that initially, and it was very close Here's to the end. Here's another breakaway opportunity. Cutting okay. outside, Kellen Kassane gets it taken away by a Mustang. It's interesting. It looked like Kassane had it a step and then yeah. decided to, to pull it back. Clock is doing a nice job of forechecking. That was Grant Reap pinching in on the near boards, but Medway's able to clear. If they hurry, they've got a two on two. They elect to just dump in and chase into the corner. And now we've got a whistle. We'll see who this goes against. Okay. If I'm reading my signals right, that's a cross check that's been called. And it looks like it's gonna go. That's Kellen Kassane. It's oh. gonna go against the clockers. Not Kellen Kassane. Still waiting to s see a, a man come to the box, and that's going to be Mark Milko. Erp, sorry, that is PJ Kassane. Thir third time's the charm. So two minutes for cross-checking. Medway on the power play for the second time tonight. This they was tied this game <laughs> seven seconds into their last power play. This is what they ha Ashland had to avoid. Now they may have an opportunity here. They don't have numbers. <laughs> Anthony Rodriguez in a one-on-three right now goes all the way around. He's just eating clock right now, trying to cut down on some of that two-minute shorthanded. I like the idea. Okay, so Medway trying to reset behind their own net. A-Rod with a nice check. He did it not have the size advantage there, but he took it to that Medway play. player. Here's Medway, shot on goal, eaten up by Rossi. Rebound and corralled there by Rossi. We'll get the stoppage with 5.35 to go in the period. Clockers up two to one. They'll be shorthanded for another minute 19. I was gonna say, we're gonna be watching that clock because that was <laughs> really the, the best opportunity Medway had this game and they converted on it. So Ashton really needs to avoid getting in these types of situations in a game that we believe they should be winning. So the most important thing there to win an offense, win, excuse me, a defensive zone faceoff. They do it there, they drive it out of the zone and now some good forechecking there. It looked like it was Mark Milko who just got a race in the corner. Medway tries to come out with it. Ashton getting back on defense. Medway setting up in the clocker zone. Cross Mark ice pass. Back across now. Open shot for a second. It's deflected. Knocked away by Danny Kelly. That was Barry with the shot attempt for Medway. It's a floater right in on net. Sticked aside by Rossi. Ashton fans holding their breath after that <laughs> attempt. 
he was screened for a moment, but was able to make the play. Here's that, a shot right from the top of the zone. That, Another rebound attempt, and Rossi equal to the task, and the Clockers able to clear it. 30 seconds to go in the penalty, 4.43 to go and counting in the period. This is the, this is the best Medway has looked all game, is in <laughs> On the numbers power advantages, yeah, right. and I don't think that's, that's a coincidence. So both teams got fresh legs out here now, full line changes, four and a half to go now. Puck still deep in the Medway zone with 10 seconds to go on the penalty. Cross-ice pass into the neutral zone is knocked away. And that should just about do it for the penalty. Final seconds as Milko steps out of the box and immediately substituted. Fresh legs here. Denny Kelly checking in. Sticked aside there by the Medway goalie and cleared the length of the ice. Looks like we're getting an icing call and there it is with 4.01 to go in the first period. Clockers up two to one. Yeah, after a few close calls on that last power play, Ashland escapes with the lead. Now they've got the numbers back. And an offensive zone faceoff here with 4.01 to go. It's gonna Top. be Jake Caveney taking the faceoff. Looks like they're mixing and matching the lines right now. Caveney's flanked by uh, Chase Garcia there for a moment, I believe. Here's a break for Medway. They've got a two on one, but uh, Jake Brown able to come on back and make the play. Looks like a three-on-one there for a second. Medway unable to catch up with the puck, however, and Jake puck. Brown stays with it. Jake Caveney with a great check into the boards. Medway again dumps and chases. Rossi steers it aside here for Jackson Riva. Cleared up the far boards and out. Liam Fitzsimons trying to find Chase Garcia. Fitzsimons calling for a break. He skates off. Fresh legs come out. Medway, a little trouble getting out. Good forechecking here. Ryan Abkunis, yep. great play in the Medway zone. Cleared out now, and now oh, look like he was going to dump back in, but ridden off the puck. And here comes Medway with a break. Shot on goal, shot, short side save. Comes out to the far wing and just out of out <laughs> the neutral zone. Abkunis <laughs> able to come out with it, streaking down the right side and erased. Ryan Abkunis looked like he had some good momentum there for a second. Unfortunately knocked away by a Mustang player. Abkunis back in the neutral zone. Gets Being checked held. against the board. I, 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 is, is there a call there? <laughs> no call there. That was Ooh. definitely more of a hold than a check. But here's a break down the near side for the Clockers. Behind the net and around. Jack Look. Reardon putting the pressure on now. Dump back behind the net. Clockers try to center in front, but steered aside here by Medway and out of the zone. Clockers dump back in but Medway stops it just over the blue line. What could have been an icing attempt instead hits the stick of Danny Kelly. So play continues with 2.17 to go in the period. Clockers up two to one. Kelly found Alex Dinsdale, now Jake Caveney running the floor. Shot on goal is no good, too high. Centering attempt is knocked away by the Mustangs. Caveney had a great opportunity there and put <laughs> it over the net. Centering attempt. Alex Dinsdale's got an opportunity knocked away by the goalie. Put that right on that great opportunity there for Dinsdale. We're under two minutes to go in the period. Clockers up two to one and still fighting here in the offensive zone along the left boards. Dinsdale, good pressure there. Got right into it with a Medway defender. Took it away. Jake Caveney's got it now. Caveney goes back to Kelly. Centering attempt is no good. Goes wide, but the Clockers keep possession. Right across the goal mouth and steered aside by Wellesley. Walmsley, excuse Walmsley. me. There Walmsley. You go. <laughs> I want to say Wesley. <laughs> Mark Mikko looks for somewhere to go with it. Centering attempt wide open. Alex Dinsdale, another shot, no good. Still in the middle. Denny Kelly keeps it in. Behind the net. Back towards the center. They were looking for Dinsdale again. Jack Reardon, shot deflected in a way. I think that went off the heel of his stick. He didn't get a good shot on goal there. Medway finally able to clear the zone, but less than a minute to go in the period. An action-packed possession there for the Clockers, and they look to regroup. Danny Kelly with a full head of steam. He gains the blue line, but loses control of the puck. Medway throws it aside, but not out. Kept in by the Clockers. Shot from the circle and score! Three to one, Clockers. 39.8 seconds to go. I didn't see who that was. Was that Anthony Rodriguez? It looks like it was. Anthony Rodriguez with the Clockers' third goal of the first period. And another strong offensive showing for the Clockers here at Loring Arena. 
Well, the Clockers have been on a scoring binge lately. They've outscored opponents 16 to four in their last four wins. They haven't given up more than four goals in a game all season. We're back underway here. Final seconds of the third period. Clockers up three to one as Medway dumps in behind the net. Rossi sets it up here for James Polanzi. Centering attempt blocked aside. Clockers dodged a bullet there. Bad turnover in the corner and now an icing call. Medway looked for a very quick response there. Clockers lucky to knock that one away and it's gonna be an offensive zone possession here for the Mustangs. 21.3 seconds to go in the period. I think the Clockers got a little too giddy off that A-Rod goal. Got a little <laughs> sloppy there in their own end but 21.3 seconds to go. Still up three to one. Caveney with the face off for the Clockers. Tough to not get excited when you put up three goals in the opening period. <laughs> You I know I'm say excited. The Clockers have a hat trick in the first period. Yeah, three different players too. <laughs> Caveney, A Rod. Tied up in the near corner. Shot aside. Final seconds now. Cleared aside, and that will do it. Milko, Final last shot, shot gets attempt off. is going to go wide. Milko did get it off in time, but it goes wide. So at the end of one, your Ashland Clockers three, Medway Mustangs one. We'll take a quick break here from Loring Arena and catch you back for second period action here on WACA-TV. And welcome back, getting ready for second period action here at Loring Arena. Your Ashland Clockers hosting the Medway Mustangs, a 3-1 lead for the Clockers as they dominated the first period. The lone blemish, a power play goal, took only seven seconds for Medway, but it was all Ashland otherwise, goals scored by A-Rod, Anthony Rodriguez, Mark Milko, and Jake Caveney. Speaking of Caveney, he's ready to take the face off here, the here for the Clockers to start the second period. Yeah, I'm so I know I, I, I talked about the second line as a really big part of this team at the start, but it has been all first line so far for the Clockers. Not a bad thing, but some of the bigger names on this team really making, making themselves felt, making okay. their impact felt. Clockers had a 2 on 2 for a moment, broken up nicely by Medway defense, but kept in nice for checking by A-Rod, but all for naught. Medway able to come out with it, but not before absorbing a pretty big check on the near side. That was a big hit. That was that was good. <laughs> Off the wall, looking for Anthony Rodriguez, who dumps it into the Medway zone. A-Rod will be the first clocker in, for checking again. Medway clears out, Reardon unable to keep it into the point. And here's Danny Kelly on the way back to pick it up. So very early on in this period, but already Medway making a pretty concerted effort to knock it out of their zone the second they get the ball, some, uh, so the second they get the puck, something <laughs> that they struggled with in that first period. Centering attempt is intercepted by the Clockers. Medway gets it back, can't get a shot off, and the Clockers are happy to take that one away. Into the neutral zone, intercepted by another Mustang player. That was a turnover right in the slot for the Clockers. They were lucky to get away with that one. Still three to one. Just about two minutes, a minute and a half gone by here in the second period. Mark Milko knocks it off the boards to himself. Anthony Rodriguez in a one on four right now. He's just gonna dump it into there, into the Mustang zone for a line change for the Clockers. Second line gets on pretty fast. But this is this is the third line, a mix of the second and third lines for Ashland, and they will face the Medway first line. We're gonna see how this team, how this line competes. Medway tried to stuff her in front, no good. Puck comes out to neutral ice now. Knocked back into the Clockers zone. Puck is loose in the neutral zone for a second. Medway seems to have it now. Falling over each other, and this is going to be Kellen Kassane pushing back the other way. Knocked away by a Mustang defender, but the Clockers keep possession in the near corner. Open shot attempt for a second there by P.J. Kassane, unable to get it off. That was a great opportunity for Kassane. He also had a couple of open teammates he could have passed to, but uh, couldn't get the shot on net. Medway comes away with it here on the near side, but blocked aside at center ice. Chris Bradico with a nice defensive play. It was a very casual <laughs> defensive play. It's a good opportunity there for the Clockers is uh, Luke Froughton, the captain, had a shot right in the slot, but here's great a breakaway now for the Clockers. Great pass to PJ Kassane. He Kassane shoots and it's gonna be wide. Got knocked aside, long, uh, short side, and we've got a stoppage. <laughs> as the door, behind the, the door behind the net had broken loose. So it'll be should be an offensive zone faceoff here for the Clockers. I didn't see who had that pass to PJ Kassane, but it was picture perfect. Led him perfectly right past two defenders, and he got a good shot off. Caveney on to take the faceoff here for the Clockers. He'll be flanked by Milko 
and A-Rod. Medway wins the faceoff and carries out the center ice. Clockers regain possession, dump it right back out. And then Medway <laughs> dumps it right back in. It's going to be a dump and chase kind of night, especially for the Mustangs. A-Rod on the near side. Can't get it out. It's thrown on net. And Polanzi can't get a stick on it enough as it trickles into the far corner. And now the Clockers come out with it. Milko across center ice now. Knocks it into the Mustang zone. He's going to chase after it himself. Near corner, it gets tied up. Milko coming away with it, cutting back before he gets checked by a Mustang. Caveney skating through defenders. James Polenzi can't handle the pass. He goes back into the neutral zone. Riva hustles back to prevent a breakaway. Nice play there as Caveney gets ridden off at center ice. A-Rod has it now. All the way to the far side over the blue line now. Pass shot right on that trickle zone. Just short of the goal line. <laughs> Medway goalie couldn't handle it initially. It bobbled right through, right through him, was loose for a second before a fellow Mustang player knocked it away. Now that was Medway's Don Bellatoni. Here's another shot, score for the Clockers, four to one. I see Reardon behind the net. It looks like it was Caveney with the goal. Reardon completely made that entire play. Dribbled through, or skated through the <laughs> That whole Mustang defense before dishing it off at the last second to Jake Caveney, who saw a wide open goal right in front of him. He finished the play, and it is now 4 to 1 Clockers with 11.02 to go here in the second period. So, Caveney's second goal of the night now. Milko and, and A Rod with the others. So, again, 11 minutes to go in the second period. Clockers in what seems to be a commanding 4 to 1 lead, but time, of course, will tell. Another great opportunity in front. <laughs> Couldn't quite connect with Liam Fitzsimons. Tied up along the near side and into the back behind the net. Medway has it, but harassed hard by Clocker four checkers. Kassane rides his man off. Back to the point. Shot right on. And just whistles wide to the short side. Kept in here by Reardon. Can't quite connect there with Kassane. Good check by Kassane behind the net. It's loose in front, and it trickles somehow. Bounces in. I'm not sure who we're going to give that one to. Could I think, be Fitzsimons. <laughs> I was going to say, I think we credit Fitzsimons with that one. And Ashland takes a commanding 5-1 to one lead. They didn't even need a minute to score their fifth goal. So 10-22 to go now here in the second period. As you said, Chase, 5-1. to one. It's all clockers right now. Medway been doing such a good job earlier in the second period on defense but suddenly the dam is broken loose and the clockers are still hungry for more as Jack Grimes flies in behind the net, hands it off, still loose <laughs> behind the net. I think we're going to continue to see that hunger. We're going to start to see some players who get maybe a little bit less playing time come out here for the clockers, and they're, ready to they're eager to make their impact on this game. Okay, clearing pass winds up going all the way in on net, so no icing here as it goes to Rossi, and it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for, for Medway. One of their few this evening. Seeing a few juniors on the ice right now. Jack Grimes you mentioned, as well as Ryan Abkunis and Alex Dinsdale. The other two we've seen already tonight. Jack Grimes getting his first action of the night. Medway wins the faceoff, and much like their power play, immediately a shot on goal from the corner. But unlike that power play in the first period, Rossi makes the stop. Exactly 10 minutes to go in the second period. Another offensive zone faceoff for the Mustangs. They win it again. Shot on goal. It hit Rossi's pad. I'm not sure if he ever saw it. Here's a breakaway opportunity now for Alex Dinsdale. Dinsdale. And that shot whistles high and wide. I will say, I think I figured out Medway's strategy on these on these faceoffs. Go big or go home? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely one way of saying it. I was just going to say immediate shot. <laughs> But that's that's a much much more fun way of saying it. Medway, two on one here, looking for the cross uh, cross ice pass. It's intercepted by Nick Connors. It just uh, hit off the back of his skate. That's all that prevented that pass from connecting. That was skill. It was skill. He meant to do that. Clockers able to clear the zone, carry it across the blue line. No shot, no angle. Connors goes all the way around back. Cross Keeps ice pass. He's got an open man. Milko. Thought slap shot, pulled it back and threw it on net, but it got steered aside. 9.04 to go in the second period. Clockers with it, still in the offensive zone. Milko over to the far side, shot on net, eaten up by Walmsley. 
So yeah, we mentioned a few of the third, second and third line guys seeing some more some more minutes here tonight, but they are staying hungry, they're staying aggressive, and they are staying in control. Ashland is still dictating the flow of this game and spending most of their time in the midway zone. Puck loose at center ice, dumped back into the midway end. They come out with it, but it's blocked aside by Caveney. The midway still ends up with it. They've got an offensive zone opportunity. Rossi snags it high in the air for the save. Gloves saving a butte for Rossi. Medway looking pretty content to, to fire shots whenever they seem like they have the angle. So the key in the defensive zone for the Clockers, they need to win one of these faceoffs to prevent that quick shot on net by the Mustangs. And they do win this one, but kept in momentarily, at least at the point by the Mustangs. Still loose. Caveney comes away with it and heads for the back of his net. That's a dangerous centering pass. It winds up missing everybody all the way down to the end of the ice and an icing call on the clocker. So another offensive zone faceoff for the Mustangs. 8.24 to go here in the second period. Yep, Caveney saw a Mustang player coming right at him, tried to get rid of it, got, tried to get it to a teammate, and uh, just couldn't find anybody. Medway's going to get it right back in that clocker zone. Caveney wins the faceoff. It goes back to Chris Bradica, seeing some pretty big minutes here in the second period. Caveney, Caveney getting it back here. Centering pass finds a teammate this time, Anthony Rodriguez at center ice. Knocks it into that midway zone. Mark Milko chases after it. Puck loose on the far side. Milko has it, dishes off to A-Rod. A-Rod spins around, trying to get it back to the point to an open teammate, but still can't. The puck's still tied up in the corner. A-Rod with it again. This time gets it to the point. Sh sh quick shot on goal. It's loose, but then knocked aside by Medway. Back up top as Grant Reed pinches in. He's tied up behind the net. It rolls right out on Walmsley. It's still loose in the slot. Braddock can't quite get to it, and Medway finally clears, but right onto the stick of A-Rod, and he spins around, goes right back over the blue line, tries to wheel and deal, gets it to a teammate. Shots loose right at the pads of the goalie. No connection here. Clocker still just in command. <laughs> A, a relentless offensive barrage. I was going to say barrage. <laughs> <laughs> Wamsley desperately slides, dives, and makes the stop. Finally gets his glove <laughs> on the puck after I, what probably felt like an eternity for him, but really was only about a minute. I got to tell you, it wasn't. A minute's a long time in <laughs> hockey. Any, any skater will tell you that. And I got to tell you, I think the Clockers were just as happy to get that tie up as the Mustangs. They both have fresh legs out there now. And the Clockers keep it in the Medway zone. Quick shot attempt, rebounds away. Uh, Wamsley gets, <laughs> gets a glove on it again. I think that was Kellen Kassane trying to backhand it past Wamsley for the goal, but Trevor's able to stop it. I feel like he's going to score before the night's over. He's had a few good opportunities. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look out for him. Just missed one there as it rolled along the far side of the net. Medway tries to clear, and they do. It's loose at center ice here on the near boards right in front of the Medway bench. Pressure by James Polanzi, but Medway gets it over the blue line, now back into the neutral zone. Far side, they get it back over that blue line into the Ashland Clockers zone. Medway had a player down in the slot, couldn't connect to him, and Medway, for the moment, controlling the pace here in the Clockers zone. That's Kassane, Kellen Kassane, with it. Throws it off the boards and all the way down. I'm not sure if we're going to get an icing call here. Play, play continues, turn over here in the deep part of the Medway zone. Kassane right on in, still loose. We thought Walmsley had made the stop, but it, it did squirt off his pads and it's still now loose at center ice. But Simon's pressuring there, it's gonna be knocked away by Polanzi. Polanzi Clock needed to get a stick on that and did. But a great opportunity there for 22, Henry Eaton. Saved by Jack Rossi. Yeah, all of a sudden, the, uh, the, the Mustangs had numbers there in the zone, and the Clockers, rather than even mess around at all, they just throw the length of the ice, get a fresh, get a fresh line out there. I don't think I've ever seen so many full, full set changes. I mean, I you know, usually see one or two guys go off at a time, but this is five at a time, obviously. It's easier with a savage in play. As another quick face-off here. Clockers end up with it reared in behind the net. The full line changes are probably also easier with a four goal advantage. Medway forces a turnover right in front. Rossi, a second attempt. He dives and makes just, the stop. Just barely able to fall on that one. 
Medway so, still showing some life here. Some spunk, absolutely. Clockers have that commanding 5-1 lead, 5.43 to go, but Medway wins this faceoff. Reardon has it now for the Clockers, around behind his net, trying to force it up to Chase Garcia. They've got to get it back into the neutral zone. All of a sudden, Clockers are a little bit on their heels, having a little bit of a struggle getting the puck out. Reardon does it this time to Garcia. They had numbers, but Garcia fanned on it, went off the heel of his stick, and finally able to push it deep into the Medway zone. Pressuring again, that's a great check there by Danny Kelly. Reardon couldn't keep it in at the point, so he backtracks to his own blue line. That pass gets broken up by the Mustangs, and then turned over. Clockers dump it right in on goalie Walmsley, who steers it off to the far boards. Puck is just bouncing around, finally clears out to center ice. Reardon tracks it down at the far side, crosses the entire sheet of ice, and now has got a good head of steam. He's got an opportunity, he's got a foot on. He Play had a step <laughs> saved by Walmsley after a couple <laughs> tries there. Finally, he falls on it, and now it's starting to get a little chippy by the Medway goal. Took the words right out of my mouth. Got a big scrum there in front of the net. It finally clears. 4.41 to go in the second period. Clockers up 5-1 to one as both teams make significant changes on the ice. Well, Ashland's still holding a commanding lead. They haven't scored in about eight minutes. Neutral zone faceoff here. And this will be A-Rod taking the uh, faceoff for the Clockers. He wins it, dumps it into the far corner. Alex Dinsdale's going to chase after it for the Clockers. Hard off the glass. Kept in at the point. Clockers still have it. Trying to set something up here. Shot, quick shot by Dinsdale, equaled by Walmsley. But Clockers get the rebound. Here's another opportunity for... Can't quite tell who that is. That it's Ryan Abkunis trying to get in there. But Walmsley's going <laughs> to fall on it again. Walmsley spending a lot of time on the ice. And I don't mean on his skates. A lot of diving, jumping saves for Walmsley. They're keeping him quite active tonight. 4.22 to go now in the second period. He may be seeing ghosts after this one. <laughs> Rodriguez unable to win the face off that time. Kept in at the point. Shot on net. Almost deflected there, but Walmsley able to steer it aside. Puck <laughs> loose there on the near boards. Abkunis goes back to Riva. He dumps in, goes wide. Knocked off the back glass. It's Jake Brown fighting off a check. It's funny, it looks like a Mustang player went in for the check and Brown just shook him off. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Puck finds its way out the center ice. Dinsdale was on his bum, couldn't make the play, but Took here's A-Rod with it now. Crosses the blue line, gets a shot off, but it gets deflected off to the near side. Medway comes away with it up the near boards, turned over back and forth by both teams, and now squirts out the center ice Jackson Riva. Plays it off the boards to a teammate. That's A-Rod. That's, uh, He's flying across the blue line. He'll take the shot. One on three, deflected off a Medway player into the goal, saved by the Medway goalie. Well, Wellmsley with a big save there. The Clockers still working it here. Give and go. Kellen Kassane couldn't quite pull the trigger as he tried to work his way around the defender. Now we've got a whistle with 3.08 to go here in the second period. Yeah, Medway showing some much tighter defense now. Not as many shots getting getting on goal. Not as many players getting close to the goal. Every time Ashton crosses that blue line, it seems like two or even three Mustang players are waiting in between them and the goal. Okay, Kellen Kassane here to take the face off for the Clockers. Medway wins it, but the Clockers for a moment had control. And now Medway will come up with it. They're three on two at center ice if they play it right. Clockers able to force the puck into the far into the near corner. Centering attempt blocked aside by a, a clocker defender. A little dangerous there, but uh, no shot on goal. Puck is tied up here in the corner. Medway tries to come out with it. Liam Fitzsimons there. Chris Fagan knocks it away, looking up the court, up the ice. Okay, here's an opportunity. PJ Kassane now tries to cut through two defenders, ridden off the ice, and Medway can't clear on the first attempt. Now they take it behind their net. Good forechecking here by the Clockers. That's, again, Fitzsimons. Milko lays a check out behind the board, behind the net. And uh, finally, the puck clears out to center ice. 2.16 to go now here in the second period. Fagan on the near side. Looking for Kellen Kassane. 
That pass goes too high. Pass between two Medway players, knocked away initially by a clocker. Now Medway's got it in the neutral zone. Bring it over the blue line. Some good stick handling there by the Medway offensive player there. That <laughs> was uh, Henry Eaton again. We've said his name a couple times tonight. Yeah, he, he sliced through the defense, flicked up a shot, no good. Would you say he sliced through the defense like he worked at a deli? I, I was not going to say that, no. Oh, okay. No, no, that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> Play continues here in the second period. About a minute 35 to go. Clocker's up 5-1. to one. Puck in the Clocker defensive end. Makes its way from one corner to the next. Medway, I guess you could say in control, but they're not able to really come out of the corners with it. Here's a shot right on net. Blocked aside. That was Danny Kelly with the stick before it could reach Rossi. He's tied up between two Medway players now, and that's knocked away. Milko clears and just wide of the net, so we will get a stoppage with the icing call. Minute nine to go here in the second period. And once again, a full line change for the clockers. Jack Reardon checking in, uh, as well as James Polanzi. You're watching Ashland Boys Ice Hockey on WACA-TV. I'm Josh Abrams. He's Chase Abrams. We're <laughs> glad to have you with us here at Loring Arena in Framingham. So I mentioned two-fifths of the line. Jack Rimes, Jake Caveney, and Mark Milko also checking in. Another quick shot off a faceoff for the Mustangs. They really like that, uh, that right point. But Rossi's been equal to it tonight. Only one goal, only one shot's gotten past him tonight. And it's been really a minimum number of shots the Mustangs have been able to even put on net tonight. Clocker's been uh, really in control all night long. Yep, Clocker's had numbers for a second there. Jack Rimes unable to handle the pass. Medway's gonna fall on it with 52.5 seconds to go here in the second period. Now it looks like a full line change for Medway. It's going to be Jake Caveney taking the face off for the Clockers. He's flanked by Mark Milko. And Jack Rimes works his way back to the point. This is uh, Reardon with it. Good pressure and now an opportunity for Medway. Cut back and it's going to go for the Mustangs. And some good harassment on the way in there by James Polanzi. But Mustang's able to shake it off, put it right through the five hole for Rossi. And you know he's frustrated by that. He hates to give one up that like that. I mean, tough play there, trying to trying to beat the uh, beat the breakaway. Yeah, that was sophomore forward Drew McCarthy for the Medway Mustangs. Certainly not what the clockers wanted there, giving up a goal with less than a minute to go in the period. They're still up five to two with 39, just uh, just under 40 seconds, 39.9 seconds to go. Yeah, that, that, that felt like a pretty pretty unforced error. Routine pass uh, in the Medway zone. They took it away, break away, and obviously scored in the end. Jake Caveney can't win the faceoff, but Mark Milko knocks it into the Medway zone. Goalie's gonna just put a glove on it. 35 seconds even to go in this second period. No line change for the clockers after they gave up the goal, so we still have Caveney flanked by Milko and Grimes, and back on defense, Polanzi and Reardon. Medway comes away with this face off and heads for the far, for the near corner. Working their way up the boards, Clocker's doing a nice job of pressing in here. Caveney tying things up on the near boards. Grimes is in there as well for the Clockers. Grimes comes away with it, back to the point for Polanzi, throws it in on net, knocked aside by the defense, and this one's gonna go all the way down. We've got an icing call, there it is. Yep, seconds now in the single digits for this period. So the Clockers are gonna have to find something to do with nine seconds to go. Still no line change here for the Clockers. They're gonna stick with these five as Medway brings up some fresh legs. Faceoff's gonna be in the offensive zone for the Clockers on the far circle. Caveney again taking the faceoff for the Clockers. Wins the faceoff this time, knocked away. Medway's got control here, they bring it into the neutral zone. Three, two, one, shot on goal, gets off in time, but Rossi knocks it away, and that'll be your score after two. It is five to two in favor of the Clockers after two periods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but an interesting game so far, Chase. Clockers, for the most part, really see, seem in command, but uh, uncharacteristically giving up two goals in two periods to uh, to what we assumed would be a relatively weak Medway team at 1-9-1. So 
third period action coming up next here on WACA TV. Before we go, just a reminder that the Clocker Club Pancake Breakfast is back for the first time in three years. It'll be taking place at the high school cafeteria from 8 to 11 a.m. on Sunday, February 12th. All you can eat pancakes, sausage, and more, plus plenty of gift baskets will be raffled off, including the chance to announce a game with one of us here on WACA TV. There's a discounted entry fee if you register in advance, so visit clockerclub.org right now. So again, five to two here at the end of two. Clockers in command over Medway. We'll see you back here for third period action. Okay, welcome back to third period action here at Loring Arena in Framingham. Your Ashland Clocker is hosting the Medway Mustangs. Here on WACA TV, I'm Josh Abrams along with Chase Abrams. Glad to have you with us on Hockey Wednesday night. Absolutely, and it's been a fun Wednesday night for sure. Clockers came out uh, with the foot on the gas, pedal to the metal, and have really not looked back in quite a while. It was one to one for a little bit, then it was five to for one. For like a minute. <laughs> yeah, uh, it got to be two to one, and eventually it got to be five to one. Clockers haven't really looked back since, and now they're just looking to put this game away. 15 minutes to go, and uh, we're gonna see how this one goes down the stretch. So we were talking before the game with uh, Brian Cassane and uh, understand the boys hockey team, Ashland boys hockey, is currently number 15 in the MIAA power rankings and with already a win this week over Abington and hopefully another win tonight against Medway, they should be rocketing up those standings. And did, he, did he say Abington was ranked 12th? Maybe 10th, I believe. Abington wow. was higher ranked when Big the clock repeat win. them. Yep. But we're underway here in the third period. Less than a minute gone by, Medway marches out of their own zone, unable to connect. Forcing, forced to be dumped into the near corner. Loud check there by Jack Reardon. Clockers have possession on their own end. 